Hello again, everyone. It is your Black Knight. And looking like we might be in good shape. Maybe. Maybe. Let's give this a shot. Now, it's an interesting week. Because they're doing some odd things. Some slightly different bonuses. Than the usual. Well, what are we? Secure three here. CEO. We slide up to the laptop. Come on. Tappity tappity. Now, when you go for the resupply, they've got a discount on the resupply. Which is... It saves you a little bit. I mean, that's, that's just a little bit more profit you're going to get. Of course, it's always good to be selling to Los Santos. And they've got double, you know, double money on contact missions. That's always a good grind, you know. Okay, you've been allocated martial off-roaders for this one. Buyer needs the weapons in a hot zone right away, so they want to pick them up at altitude to fly them out of the country. The other weird thing they've got going on is if you do one cell mission of any amount from your from your nightclub, you get two hundred and fifty thousand dollars in a week. Which, that's not bad. That's this isn't too bad a version of the Marshall Offroader mission. Now I've already done that minimum sale kind of mission. I have some footage without voice. I think it's worthwhile going through that to voice it over if it's just so you could put it on as bonus footage here. Might be just as entertaining. <laughs> I also have some, some footage of people interrupting me trying to do these things. It's interesting, sometimes you look at everything and there's nobody who's gone weird or or hostile with anyone. It's just, let's try this. It's not the usual. We went backwards, I know. But. Let's go. Let's try this. Right here, so what the heck. And let's see, what's next? Let's go over this way. Somehow I feel like I'm losing some efficiency, but we're gonna mix it up. Because how many times can you wash these things? I don't know, we've included all in this video. We're gonna try and figure something. Shoopity, shoopity, blasty, blasty, go ahead. We're just gonna... Whee! Whee! Okay, come on, Marshall. Up some You know, I understand that they have to kill me. They're professionals. But I mean, why? Why the anger? What do I do to you? doing is my job and all you have to do is your job. I mean it's not like not like I can, you know romantically estranged your sister or something here, you know what I'm saying? I mean what's the Do you think it's scary if you're yelling at me if you're gonna kill me? You're shooting at me. I'm not ready, you know. All I have to do is eat some snacks and I'll get my health back. So I mean, yeah. Oh, good. It did drop. Very good. All right, down, down. And I'm cross. And well, we'll take this opportunity. Well, at least everything's uh, smooth and easy.
Did you really just turn in front of a racing monster truck? I mean, really? People are so oblivious. I mean, I ask you, if you saw Bigfoot rolling down the avenue, would you dive in front of it? Would you say, hey, yes, I, I have to make this turn my right away. I have places to be. I have a dentist appointment in 20 minutes. What are, Where are these people going? He should stop. That'll stop easily. Look at the giant tires. He's got lots of traction. I'm sure the brakes are more than adequate if I pull out in front of them. And I'm not so much worried about the helicopters. I mean, you can, be, you can shoot them down if you want, but... That takes you know more time for the mission, and then there's always a chance that some dude in an oppressor will show up. You know, and that's that's the bigger danger. I mean, well, luckily, I was on the on last night. Yay! We got. We're at, uh, we're at 1.5 million, who are 1.5? 15 million, ooh, we made it to 15 million. Um, it's, it's like six o'clock on a Saturday. Let's see, it's 6 a.m. So I'm a little bit, a little bit just waking up. Um, yeah, we need the map, the map a lot. Suppose what we should just do is drive back up the road here this way. Go get the Druxo. That'll make everything a lot faster. But what happened was I hadn't really planned on idling this overnight. But I was on and there was a, a modder on who, was, who changed things to like a weird color. It was like it was like snow, but it was more like it was turning everything radioactive. One of the strangest things. I'll, I'll, I'll put that in this video here. We'll edit it up. We'll do it up. We'll do it up good this time. We'll try and some interesting things going on. A little bit out of, a little bit out of sync. And that, I believe, is everything sold. Next time you see those weapons, they'll be on the news. So, but one of the things he did right before I left was uh, start blowing people up and putting bounties on them. Now he did it kind of backwards. He blew everybody up and then put a bounty on everyone, which that's really you know, not what you do. You should reverse that because then you'll actually get plenty, you know, but I can see that if you, if you bountied everyone on the server and then blew it up, assuming he's doing it via mod. Of course, if he's a modder, he could just, you know, give himself money. So none of it made any sense. He's just messing with people, probably. So what I did was, I said, well, I'll, I went to a, a closed crew session, parked my car against the wall, and then jammed a couple credit cards in the keyboard so it would just keep spinning the tires. And I was going to come back to that and exit out of the game. I wasn't planning on running it overnight. But then I got tied up, you know, you got to get the kids to sleep, you're doing different things, and basically, said, oh, well, I'm just going to lay down for a little while, get back up, and, do, and fell asleep. So, we should have at least a decent amount of stuff here in the, uh, in the good old nightclub. The good old nightclub. We'll see, we'll do another nightclub sale, which should therefore, you know, seal the deal on me getting the quarter million. You can see, I, the, the last two uh, runs I did, it says you, you only have to do a sale. I did one with uh, Rusty Jack that was like, I got one drop off and some, it was something weird happened, you know? It, uh, if I'm going to voice that over, I'll explain it to you then. But something strange happened. I was, everything was going well, and then for whatever strange reason, and it could have been the mod, or I don't know. Could have, I don't know if that was the same session. Uh, my, my truck just caught fire. I mean, I, I wasn't near anything that was burning. It just burned and blew up. I mean, I don't know why. I have to watch the, the footage again. 
just to see what was going on with that. So I figured, well, I did, it did complete the sale. I did get like a third of the money, but it was only like a, a six, it was only, at first it was a $90,000 run, and then someone came after me in an oppressor or something that dropped bombs, or I said, well, heck with this, I'm not giving you the satisfaction, and I exited out, which dropped it to 69000 <laughs> But the, um, what do we got now? 330000 all right. Still good? Pop poop Pop poop Maybe we'll take some of this and... Great, I'm gonna help you sell some of this stuff I know nothing about to someone I've never heard of in a transaction I will swear until my death never took place. Address should be with you now. Thankfully, it's just one drop. Okay, so either people are gonna come and kill me or it's, or it's a setup from the cops. I'm hoping it's people going to try to kill me because the cops mission is always in it. I hate it when it changes the direction. I'm gonna go like, all right. Boink. So that was like a partial sale. I thought, gee, I don't know if the partial sale will count. So now I have only like thirty-nine thousand built up in the, in this nightclub. I was able to sell that. Sure, that it's not like you can only sell it once. We're so selling it more times. It's got to, you know, truly seal the deal, right? Make sure that you get something. And hey, I've got a third of a million. Why not? Everyone's theorizing about what the next DLC is gonna be. I did that once. I did one theoretical what the next DLC would be video where I was trying to be excessively silly, and I don't remember what's on it. Right, said something about aliens. Alien DLC would work. Everyone's thinking naval because they've already done land and air. So why not a sea mission thing? Which, if you can, you know, that that is a there's a great untapped potential in the seas. But, I don't know. Maybe it'll be Cunning Stunts Part 3. I'm okay with that. Heck, I'd even be okay with Arena War 2. Alright, more ridiculously expensive vehicles. I'm trying to think what vehicle they could add to that, though, that would be compelling, you know? I don't know if there's... The only vehicle that they, they actually talked about being cut from that was the, the Death Race version. Death Car version? What the heck was the name of that movie? The Death Car version of the Nova. Or the Hunter calling the Nova. Kill Car. I forget what the name of the movie was. It wasn't one I've seen. Where you just, when you drive into people and the thing will just blow their cars up. But they thought that was overpowered, so if they just add in something that was overpowered that they cut first, well, that's not necessarily a good plan. Unless you made it its own mode. Like, if you just had a ramming mode kind of thing. Where you could only use that car in that that adversary mode. But how long would, how long would that last, anyway? And what do you do with head-on collision? Just blow up both cars? I don't know. Maybe that's what they got. Maybe they couldn't deal with the... Oh, this is the police one. Police, release me. <coughs> so we should be able to get away with this. With the... Um, with the Speedo, but hey. You know, if you've got a Deluxo handy... Why not, right? 
Because you know what the police in this game have a lot of difficulty with? Flying cars. They really... Okay. There you go. Now, normally I would do something like shoot the tire or something like that, but I know I'm standing right in front of cops. Who are like, gee, what's this guy doing? Why'd he bring up a DeLorean? Must be a cocaine thing. Okay. Now, rather than drive in here, we drive over here. IAA, ooh. Is the CIA coming after me? So now we escape. Hopefully I didn't put that mine so close I just burnt down my truck. And we just fly away. No, they don't know where I am. What's on the... Uh, somebody shot me. That's that's great. They shot me. How to get on the outside of the car, you? That's just a waiting game now. Don't see a helicopter, right? Okay, we'll just fly a little more away. All the police. All right, police are gone. They got bored. They spent like three days setting up this thing for me. Yeah, no, he's gone. Let's not even take the truck. Let's not confiscate anything. It's... Well, that's a little bit disconcerting. You see that plane flying nearby? So we're gonna try and do bombing runs on me. Let's uh, hope not. This one's for all that effort. I guess we'll keep the gun up just in case. And then, maybe, let's go sit out. Go sit out. This is what happens when you leave your gun up. Okay, let's see if we can pick me up just visually without me being on his radar. And maybe he's just being friendly. <laughs> it's GTA. You can't take that. Chance. The good news is now I'm driving off into the wilderness and I'm off his radar, so now I'm going to cover. So that should. And this late in the game, it was good to save until you needed it. Thank goodness he's just flying around, probably. He's still, he must still have some visual like on me, because he is still there. Turn off the headlights, but although I, I, you can't turn off the running lights, I don't think. There's a flaw in my plan. Maybe we should just look more like regular cars. See, totally not a guy with three hundred thousand dollars worth of stuff he doesn't want blown up. Okay, I'm going to turn off the gun here just so I can use both hands to control this thing as we fly around curves. See he's flying in here? No. Still don't know if that guy's just flying around looking at interesting stuff. Yeah, I wonder what this guy's doing. Or if he's like, I'll wait till he gets right up to the end of his, his sail and then bomb the crap out of him.
he may have lost them, or he may have given up on us, or maybe he doesn't even notice we're there. It could be total coincidence. Doesn't matter now. That's a bucket of hooray. And ghost organization cuts out in just about the right amount of time. One point, basically one point five. I keep saying one point five. I'm so used to not having fifteen million dollars. Which again is only significant because you know what is the next DLC going to be, and is it going to be something I'm going to want to participate in? got the product and you got the profits looks like a successful transaction to me yep successful transaction I think. I've only been shot a few times so what I'm gonna do now gang is I'm probably gonna go do some contact missions which I think probably not the most interesting thing that's been going on here is but what we can do is we can do the time warp again and then you can see some of the stuff from yesterday, which I mean, you can even voice that over. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. I'll take a look at it. If it, it'll, it'll either be kind of a bonus footage kind of thing, where here I am, not voiced over, or it'll be like, well, hey, here we are. We, we came up with interesting things to say. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see what goes on. Let's do the time warp again. Hello. Here we go again. You're done. Hmm. That's a pretty unique NPC. Seriously. The biggest glasses ever. Well. Okay. I'm guessing that this won't be a problem. One other person. Not. That's an odd going on here. Okay, how far out are they? Oh, good. These aren't too bad. Let's do the time warp up. Yeah, how, how'd that work out for you? Chasing me around. Ha! This is funny, you know, it's a, the guy said, hey, you guys cool? And Lixology said, oh, I'm a real asshat. No, I'm just kidding. Everything's good. Uh, I've got to take off. Have a good one, folks. We'll go away. Have a good one, folks. And we exit the game. Now, here's an interesting effect. I left the cameras on overnight. Left my character on the camera, just idling, idling, idling. And for whatever reason, I've seen this before. When I came here, about, you know, came back in the morning, turned on the, you know, the monitor, Instead of the black and white security screen, I've got a color screen. And I don't know why that happens. I don't know what it looks like when it transitions. I don't know if that a normal thing. It'd be nice if you could just have the security cameras like this, wouldn't it? This is cool. I mean, it doesn't give you the security camera effect, but boy, it'd be nice if it was an option.
Now for this video I'm using an intro, you'll notice I, I used an intro that was done a while ago that I never really it was in there is ready to be edited into a montage of CEO in pajamas kind of stuff and I'm not one to waste footage so I figured hey let's let's do this now but it is currently oh, I still have the mask on he never changed that up interesting thing if you're using the dinghy from one of the uh, from one of the MC missions and you jump in the water to get out sometimes they'll put the rebreather on you and it never comes off so that's a thing but in my last CEO in pajamas video if you watched it which was done just you know basically 24 hours ago or so um, I went through and I upgraded all of my MC businesses I even improved their locations because the locations were on sale and a modder came in and blew up the session and I have been in a solo solo session since. So I've been able to, able to do some good things. In that previous video, I had spent myself down to 17 million. 17 million, what, 500, 17, 7, something like that. About six and a half million dollars gone upgrading the MCs. And I'm happy I did that. I'm glad that, you know, when there's double money, I can use them. I'm back now to 21 and a half million, so I'm, I'm on my way back. We're, we're getting back there. I think we'll, we'll, we'll break to 24 sometime, you know, this weekend. We'll, we'll get there. Not critical. I think 20, 20 million dollars, 21 million dollars is enough, I think, to at least get my, get my feet wet, feet wet, feet wet in the next DLC. Wet. But let's, let's get this party started here. We continue to talk. Am I going to try to continue to use the uh, the MC businesses to make money this weekend? I have one more business I think might have some product in it, and that's gonna be it. Let me let me explain. You can, yes, you can indeed make a lot of money with the MCs. Not a question. Is it solo friendly? Like the bunker is solo friendly. No, no, not even a little bit. Not you know, you're you're always running into many slow vehicles. There were many times that I could not sell everything. It was it was a thing. So, and it's not. I mean, we're talking. You get that post off mission. What are we doing this time? Here, Merryweather goes again, pissing in our soup. Get the weapons to the buyers and look out for those private security goons. Maybe good to have someone manning the gun on the insurgent, too. Now, we're not doing that, but I mean, as long as no one else is here, I can deal with Murrayweather. All right. See, this is very solo friendly, especially if nobody's, nobody's coming at you with an oppressor mark, too. So, you know... I'd rather, when you consider we have double money on the bunker and double money, actually if I can get my um, my popularity up, I can make a bunch of money doing that. I'm going to work on some of that at some point. Try to swap the, uh, swap DJs until it gets back up to full, full power on that. Yeah, I'm not going to make you, you know, sit there and watch me driving through all of this necessarily, unless I have something to say. And it's, uh, it's a matter of, you know, I have some footage, maybe I'll even put this here, where I'm just completely complaining and, and, and going on about how bad the MC missions are. I'll have to look it over again, see if, it, if it's not, if it's just really miserable grousing. So, in our last episode, I upgraded all of my, all of my biker businesses. I gave them better locations. I uh, got all the upgrades for them so they could be fully useful and fully purposed. And I regret every single dollar of it. Oh my goodness, this is a grind. And there's going to be no way. I'm trying to solo this sale on forged documents. No way. No way in hell that I'm going to be able to pull off 
three trucks in 30 minutes. That's just not going to happen. Especially with the distances they're making me drive these things. It's not physically possible. You're just not going to be able to do it. Well, I mean, you can do it. I can't do it. It's going to take a miracle. And it's truly, truly, truly annoying how grindy these things are. I don't know what I was thinking. Cause, I mean, it's not like not like I get, had that much luck with cocaine. I mean, this is, you know... I know this is the least profitable of all of them. It's going to take me a half an hour to make, like, a, you know, $150,000 or something like that because I'm going to lose a whole bunch of this. That was to do one... Oh, my goodness. Look at the time the time that took just to, just to get to... No, not the... There we go. Of course I'm facing the wrong way. Of course. There's no way... I'm not even trying to be able to unload all of these in time. And mind you, this is like... I ended up in a solo session just because... You know, I switched sessions and there was like one guy there and he left. And I don't know, maybe there's somebody else in the session now. But I mean, you know, can you imagine trying to do this while people are shooting at you? Uh, I mean, look, from an RP standpoint, if I was truly role-playing, being the biker dude, trying to sell these forged documents, and you're trying to sneak around and do stuff, yeah, it makes perfect sense. If you just did it for the dollars per, per second... Oh, I, my goodness, I just... I thought it was clear of her. Oh dear. Yeah, and you know, I truly am in it for the dollars per second. There's other stuff I'd rather be doing in this game. Like racing. Racing is really the... I do wonder what kind of cars can they can they introduce to this game at this point. The love of the fortune. Of course, we've been over that, but... It'd be nice if they brought out the fortune and the Uranus and they didn't make them a million dollar car. Do we need a car, really, to replace, you know, the Wagner and the Devastate as far as, you know, the top gun fastest car in the West? I don't think so. Can we have one that's competitive? Sure, that'd be great. Would I buy it if it was just competitive? Depends on what it is. And if it's a car that I would have a sentimental attachment to. Leaving the garbage instead of taking the garbage. Hey. You know, and here's the deal. I, you know, I wouldn't, it's not that bad really time-wise if you have two other people to help you. But do you really want to drive a garbage truck around? It's not like you're going to be compensated like I am. You know, what are you getting, 10K? 30K for 15 minutes or 10 minutes of driving a garbage truck around? It's not. That's just mean. Oh, goodness. Oh goodness, me oh my! I don't even know if I can get back to that other truck. I think two is probably the most you can do solo, and it's painful. Three's not happening. That's my advice. If you want advice from the Black Knight here, but you never know what you're gonna get. Sometimes you get something that's a it's a one vehicle sale. You know, it's like. They talk about gambling. Oh, there's gambling in this game. It's all a gamble. Not like they don't warn you. Hey, you know, are you sure you want to sell this? You need help. Okay, yeah, I'm trying. I have no help. I guess as long as I make at least 75000 and I'm breaking even. I did resupply this one. Although that probably be the last time I resupply forged documents. It just seems painful. Even at double money. Can you imagine? This is double money. It's supposed to be 214000 for all of this. And 100000 No way. There's a lot easier ways to make $100,000 in this game. Yeah, def I don't think I'm resupplying anything else after this. And that's going to be as good as it gets. What can I say? We'll uh, make do.
with what we got. Funds in your account? LJT is out of here. I tell you what, if you tell me, yes, then you're going to do this mission and you're going to get 130k for 30 minutes of effort, no, not doing that. Nope. Nobody. Nope. Because they're not as bad as I was feeling it, you know? They're, they are, you know, you can make money. I'm not disappointed that I spent the money, the six and a half million. I think it is too much of a paywall. They basically set up, I think, with the expectation that you'd have one business or something like that. And it's just six and a half million. You'll make it back eventually using it if you want. I don't know, maybe I will give it a shot and load them up for at some point. Because the one thing I can do is reload them and then not not worry about selling them constantly. Just wait till I've got somebody who can help me. But you know, the only problem with that is they're boring missions. I hardly hate, I, you know, I hate to ask anybody, hey, would you drive a post-op van for me for like the next half hour? I mean, it's just really, you know, well, probably 15 minutes. It's 10, 15 minutes every time you have to drive one of those. You, have to, you, you know, I've seen the way the professional does it. He's he's got people doing it where they're they're, they're you know pushing the, the trucks along with uh, vigilantes, there's rocket boosting them along. There's some neat stuff. You got to go over and check his channel out. Neat things. That guy knows how to do it. But I'm not. You know, I'm a solo guy mostly. I mean, I do have friends. But I, you know, boy, with the with the MC missions, I really hate. He did true. So I don't know. I'm, right now my goal is to kind of get them all emptied out. I'm leaving them running. I'm not shutting the businesses down because they still feed my uh, my nightclub. So I mean, you know, as long as it's feeding my nightclub, I in between this, between the gun running stuff and the nightclub on a normal day, you know, I can make pretty close to a million dollars a day doing stuff. It's just a little bit of extra effort. This is a great one. This is because everybody comes out and shoots at you. This is just wonderful. Nobody has a sense of humor. Put the weapon down. You're just going to kill me. Like, you're not even shy about it. You're Merriweather. Poor Menendez. I always get Menendez. Is he running away? Come back here. Who else is shooting at me? It's all right. They got Benendez. I wonder how many times they'll say that during the mission. Is it once? Oh, here go the frame rates again. Yeah, see, this is a thing. You can see that the rendering is going to heck. I may, I may end up losing this wonderful uh, solo session because I may have to restart the program. Why not? I'm even trying to remember. Did I, did I show you the, the part where the the modder came in? Because I had a different modder that got me this session. Because I, I recall, I think I even tried to render that once, and it was. Like the last two seconds were screwed up. I have to go through and change some things. I got one of the guys up there. If I got the pilot, I think there's a pilot. All right, we're waiting for one. Okay, me stuck. And coming back. So I'm trying to remember, was it was it the modder kick in the last video? Is it I even have that? Or did that happen? That might have happened in the, you know, we look at my footage. That might you know, we could maybe be able to put that here. You know, it's and then you could you could see that that go on. No, he's been shot in the face. That makes more sense. I'll bet you it's in the second set of footage that I haven't uploaded yet. 
Hmm, I'm getting confused. Confused with my own footage, ladies and gentlemen. There's just too much CEO and pajamas work going on with this whole double, triple thing. And by the way, you'll notice, I haven't even thought about doing any of the, uh, the smuggler stuff. Even a triple money, that is just painful. That is not friendly to anything. That's a case of when I have enough money and I'm bored with everything else, then perhaps, perhaps. No, I don't even know if I'll do it then. You know, I'll, I'll, I'd have to. I'd have to be thinking. Well, if there's any time I wanted to unlock the the paywalls and all the jets, that would be a good time to do it. Yeah, we should be able to blow right through that house, don't you think? But, eh. Yeah, we'll see. No, it's not. At least it's over for you. Hello. Well, that was very aggressive. Very aggressive driving style. We'll have to make sure you don't drive anymore. Where is the stupid helicopter? There it is. So I was going to, you know, the, the last, my actual last session when I was doing all the, uh, all the EMC stuff, I was thinking, yeah, you know, this isn't really good stuff as far as I was just complaining a lot, but maybe, maybe we can go through that, make this video a little bit of a super mix. Where's that bullet coming from? Well, there's the chopper. Okay, I think we've taken out most of the heavy again. Let's do a little, uh, yeah, a little clever editing, and we'll be able to get something that's interesting enough. Buzzard May. What if I just get the buzzard and then blast them all with missiles next time? Eh. It's, it's nice getting out of gun. So we'll see. We'll see what this video ends up looking like. Hooray! See, 400. That, when you have double money going on bunkers, you can just crank so much money. Yeah, and then there's some bills and stuff, but so we're already up to almost 22 million. We, if we uh, if we head to the to the nightclub, 22 million will be ours. I know I'm not worried about the bonuses. It's just kind of you know, this is how this is how it should be. You should be able to do this stuff in a solo session. The bonus should be what's driving you to do it in a public session. And if the bonus isn't enough, if they don't think the bonus is enough to do that, well, then they should make the bonus bigger. That's how it should be. I'm sure they um, there have their geniuses doing the math on the shark cards. But, yeah. Looks like you sold out. To the right people, too. Only the good wars being fought with those guns. Promise. Alright. The good war. Good doing. Doesn't he know? War never changes. Let's see what we got. It's been idling for a long time. Only 428. Ah, I was hoping for more. I have been selling it, so.
Great. I'm gonna help you sell some of this stuff I know nothing about to someone I've never heard of in a transaction I was swear until my death never took place. Address should be with you now. Thankfully, it's just one drop. Okay. Once again, this is either A, bunches of people coming to kill me, or B, a police thing. I'm hoping it's bunches of people coming to kill me. It's much easier to deal with. Much less time consuming. You don't have to lose wanted stars or anything like that. Phone should ring in three, two, one. Ah, it's going to be the police thing, isn't it? Yep, looking like the police thing. Blizzards. Since it's the police thing, we better, you know, snack it up a little bit here. Snackity, snackity. Snackity. You know, it's really embarrassing, but it took me forever to figure out how to use snacks. I wasn't I wasn't using snacks for the longest time. I don't know how many how many levels I had before I figured that out. But that is a thing. Snacks are definitely a, you know, it's wonderful that you can you get shot seventeen times and basically a pack of M and M's will get you back to health in this game. It's, it's a good thing. It's a good game mechanic. Not realistic, but the last thing you want is a completely realistic GTA game. That would be brutal. Because, contrary to popular belief, crime doesn't really pay, no. But who was it said if crime didn't pay, there wouldn't be any criminals? I don't know. It's... I just saw that quote the other day. Who was it? It was someone where it would make sense. It could be G. Gordon Liddy or something like that. I'll have to, have to Google that again. You put that up here. Because <laughs> who really said it? But now I have to remember that I did that, and if, I, if you don't see anything appear, that means I forgot to go back and put that in the edit, so that's a thing. Memory, all that kind of stuff. Memory is in the corner of my PC, sitting there until I edit. No way we were. Oh dear, I forgot to... See, normally what I do is I park... They were narcs. Our buyer must have had an undercover unit on them. Try and lose them, and I'll see if they want these goods dropped somewhere else. See, normally what I do is I stop, and before I cross into the circle, I go get my Deluxo. And then I fly away and I come back and get the truck later. But, luckily I'm in the Speedo van and not in one of the other trucks. Because the Speedo's pretty quick and it'll go off-road pretty well. And it can get me to the other side of the train. We can run the train tracks up here. Okay, we can hit the train. Let's see if they want to follow me up the train tracks. Do ya? Do ya, coppers? You want to play chicken? Yeah, the train just went past, so I'm not worried about the train. But, I noticed they're not really... Okay, well that was unfortunate. Come on, kappa. Why am I getting caught on this? Let's go. Yeah, aren't you glad I got extra snacks? No. My vehicle is zipping down the tracks like it's a train. And I'm gonna lose y'all. That looks like you know, there's one on a road coming across. That's interesting. So, if we can outpace them. They're not where they can get me, but they're, you know, they're keeping me in sight line, which is really annoying. We're going to have to look for a place to go off-road in a radical... Okay, here we go. We stop here. On the train trestle. I 
I'm shot, shot half to bits. There are cars coming. I have to stay ahead of them. Because it's, it's a matter of matter if they can get me. They just can't see me. And there's another train. Back it up. Are you out? Thank the stars for that. I knew I was right to be paranoid. I sent you the buyer's fallback drop this is off bad. location. Get the stuff over there, and I'll be able to breathe again. You'll be able to breathe again. Come on, come on, come on. Can we get over this? No. Oh, I, I regret everything. I regret absolutely everything. Ah! The cops win on this one. Ah! <laughs> okay. That, that worked. Ah. here in cop centers. Don't know, not for me, I guess. But they've left them turned on. Every once in a while, you'll get, you know, a, a police officer who doesn't disengage when the stars go away. Which I think is so accurate. Like, he knows. He's not part of the system. He's not part of the the bribery. It's like a, it's like a rogue AI that says, no, I'm not going to follow what's going on here. I know the deal. Which lends itself to deep philosophical implications, doesn't it? Can you have non-conformant, intelligent AI that we don't realize are intelligent? They know the deal. They don't may not know that they're in a program. They may think they're living a life here in Los Santos. And I don't care if the chief says the bribe came in, or the time we're timed out. He, I'm gonna get my man. He's like Sheriff Buford T. Justice. Doesn't care about jurisdiction, or he just knows he's gotta get his man. You don't know who Sheriff Buford T. Justice is? Google that. I mean, you'll enjoy that movie. Those three movies. Good movies. Doodly -doo -doo -doo. Cashed out. All goods successfully sold to the buyer by the skin of our teeth. How much we getting? A little bit less than what it said. It's only 300 some odd. 385. Good enough. Good enough for 22 million. Up from so we've made five million dollars in a couple days. I mean, it is a good, a good time. Retire the CEO. This is gonna cost me 30k because I've upgraded everything, but. 30k right there. That That is a definite downside. That's another reason. But our location is perfect. There's only two that I have to check. I think the one I'm going to now doesn't have any product and then the meth lab might. If, if they're both empty then I'm, I'm just pretty well done. The sale is made. You get the cash. I get not to worry about being caught with that stuff in the club and sent to the can. It's a win for both of us. Hey, it's your dear friend Simeon. Give me a call sometime. No, I'm not. I'm busy, Simeon. Okay, no product, no value, no supplies, no worries. You're just going to make stuff for my nightclub, alright? At least for the time being. Now, let us check. It's an interesting thing how these things don't come up on radar very easily. See that? It's just fading in there. It's close. 
Wait a minute, that is my business? I was at my business and I didn't even realize it? Oh well. No, no, it's a different place. Different red barn. Apparently, everybody who works there gets there in an ingot. Which, you know, that's a thing. There's a little bit of product. Just a little bit. All right, is it worth it for 47000 Probably not. Uh, Seventy-one grand. It'll be a one vehicle deal. We selling? Huh? Okay. The buyer wants it airdropped. The product's loaded and waiting at the helipad. And now on to the Minani. Well, at least this will bring you back into the city. Delivering the mail to the drop -offs. See, this isn't one of the bad missions. This one's pretty good. It's pretty speedy. They're not all crippling. Some are crippling. There you go. See, that wasn't bad. If they're all kind of like that, I'd probably do more MC business stuffs. But boy, those will end up taking you half an hour just to get a couple hundred K. It's, you know, it's tough. It's not solo friendly. Next plan, kind of go through the double money client jobs and double money special crates. I don't think you're doing double money on special vehicles, otherwise that would be a thing to do too. You could try it. Get a vehicle, see if it's if it's double money, because that would be a lot of money. Double double. Double double. Actually, let's go. Yeah, we can call it the compressor if we need it. Oh, no congratulations from LJT yet. That's oh well. Fine. We're just going to continue on here. Let's try one. It looks like this vehicle's been involved in something pretty nasty. Go to the crime scene, pick it up, and bring it into the warehouse. For that one, we're going to want the Karuma. It's just simpler. Let me out. Let me out. Let me out. Whoa. Let me out. Da -da 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 I can't go into my office. I don't think. You're through to your garage. You uh, need me to bring you a ride? But then I'd have to walk anyway. It's coming at you. And you know what, this was, this was funny for a little bit, but... There we go. Okay, they're annoyed. We've definitely annoyed them. To get some place. 
Some place where we can lose the stars. This is the time when being a star isn't a good thing. Now, theoretically, if I jumped in the actual car, Helicopter. Helicopter is going to be a problem. If I, if, when you get close to your uh, your warehouse, I think it drops it to, to a single. So maybe we'll have to go back to it and do it that way. But I'd like to think I could get away from a, a three star without that. That could be a fantasy, but. Oh, I'm getting caught again here. Is that a parking garage? Yes, it is. But they're on me. There's another parking garage, but they're on me. Well, I mean, you know, we don't have to be insulted. Let's go for the hills. We can outpace them. Again, I should have just jumped in the car, taken a few bullets in the head, and then... I got to the, whatchamacallit, you know, wow, it's like they're psychic. It's like the case of, yeah, I can't outrun the radio, right guys? But I'm in an all-wheel drive Karuma. to the dirt. Not the fastest way of the dirt, I think. Come on. You're gonna teleport somebody in on me at any point. Now no, let's do it! Can we do it? Let's go for sure cliff face. No. Caught. Come on, sure cliff face. Let's do it. Yes, it's to another road, but I mean still. Another sure cliff face. See? Karoom. See? Karoom. Ugh! Ruma, I'm just singing your praises. And now I gotta sing your praises about the fact that you're completely bulletproof. Helicopter. The helicopter, the off road thing doesn't help me. I'm dealing with the helicopter. I'm completely inaccessible with this mountain goat. But we're gonna have to take care of this. Sorry guys. You're only doing your job, I know, and this is that, but you know I've He actually get me pretty handily from up here. Are they walking up? Looks like they're walking up the sheer cliff face. Yep. Well, I'm in a car, so... We have lured them to where now they can't really... Wow, it's, 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 they're closing on me pretty quick here. What the hell?
Come on. Blink out. Get confused and blink out. As this mountain goat of a Karuma. Yes! Finally, alrighty then. Blink, blink. It's never really clear to me when they say special vehicle, you know, not special vehicle, they say special cargo's double money. Do they mean the special vehicle cargo too, or don't they? I'm never really 100% clear. Maybe not. It's still 100, you know, it's still 80 grand if we can pull this off, which again isn't as effective as some other things right now. But if it's 160 grand, well then it was all worth it just to find that out. Even if it's 80 grand, it's worth it to find out that it's not 160 and then we're not giving up Boku dollars here. On the, every top end car. Boo -coo. And actually, now that I think about it, it wouldn't be 160. That's doubling the, the normal profit. This would be 200,000 minus the normal cost, which would be 20k for the upgrades. So you're looking at 180,000 if it's double money. But I don't think I don't think it's gonna be. But I want. I have to find out. I'll take 80 anyway. But. And while we're doing this, of course, the bunker is cycling and the, everything else is cycling. And 1984, interesting numbers. Sit down. Uh, I don't think that's part of a collection. Nope. So we just go find it. Delivery commission, export. No, no, it's not double money. So, let's get rid of it. Okay, let's get it ready to ship. You know who makes good license plates? Prison inmates. I give you. We we spin this around. It is the X80 Proto Deluxe. Wouldn't recognize it. Uh, spoiler. We need a spoiler. Not as critical the way we do this up. We'll go with off-roaders for it. We don't bounce around too much. Because sometimes what I'll try to do is I'll go with the matte gray just so it kind of blends in with the surroundings and you can't really notice it. But since we're alone... Okay, you good to go? Get over to the buyer without sustaining damage and we'll get the full amount. Just drive around. Yeah, normally I would engage these guys, but this thing is so fast. Something's blew up. They must have blown up somebody else. That you can you can outpace the competition and minimize your damage. Let's spend more on ammo. Trying to kill them. Let's go, let's go, let's go. See? Gone. You know, I've never owned an X80 Proto. But there's always something else I wanted to drive in. Right now, you know, I've already got the Devastate, which really kind of obsoletes this car, but it is, it is a nice car. It's fast. And you, you're, never, you're never in a bad position if you're racing the XA Pro. Now, it is a little bit touchy. So you can be. Actually, that's entirely not true, because you can end up in a very bad position with an X80 Pro. Like, no! That was a bad position with the X80 Pro. I got slowed down enough that they were able to get some bullets on me, and this guy just leaps out in front of me in a blister because I'm convinced that 
What, what, what's that guy doing? He's just turning around in the middle of the street for no reason just to be in your way. It really is. This is a case of... Look at this. I mean, the traffic... That's why I have no sympathy if I accidentally blow up somebody in traffic. Is because, uh, you know what? They're, they're not innocent. Not in this game. No. There are no innocent bystanders in GTA 5. They're all out programmed to block you or not block you. Depending on how things are going. Uh, come on. When's our next wave? There it is. I had a sense that it was coming. And it's raining. But they're gonna be out of visual of me pretty soon. They're not gonna be able to put a bullet line on me. Snippy, snippy. Okay, I don't need to go flat out. No one's trying to shoot at me currently. Let's try and save a little money here. Then we'll go back. I don't know. Like again, I'm only gonna record if I have something to say or something interesting to show. Flying around in X80 Pro it seems interesting enough, right? Hey, what if I just put this right off a cliff? You never know. It could happen. I actually had something interesting like that. I wasn't recording when I was doing the uh, the post-op van thing because honestly, you'd think what could happen during the post-op van thing. Had a uh, had had one of the NPCs in a regular car cut me off. Turned in front of me for no reason, rammed him to him, and he flew off a cliff. And it was just the most hilarious thing, but no, I didn't, didn't catch it because I didn't think it was interesting, but hey, here we are. So, alright, we got 90, what? 94k, 95,000 out of it. Minus 20, so 75,000. So we need another 700k to get to 23 million. That's, that's doable. Why are you hitting my... I hate when people just ram into it. There's an obviously a helicopter there. Why are you ramming it? How have you been? Listen, give us a call at TPI if you want to keep yourself busy. Do I look like I'm having trouble keeping myself busy? Okay, I just walked through the doors. They didn't open. And now I'm stuck. Okay, he opened that door. That's weird. I'm definitely having. I think I'm gonna. I'm gonna have to lose the session, which is a sad thing. Well, yeah. Okay. Fine. Here we are. Weird stuff. <coughs> Do I want the Deluxo or the Karuma? The Karuma is is the bulletproof choice because you know if you have to chase somebody down and shoot them out of a truck or something like that you're, you're golden whereas if you have to go back and forth you're better off in something a little faster if you get a three position deal oh you know what i could do let's call up the karuma go inside the uh the terabyte and if it's something where I'm going to have to fly back and forth a lot, if it's the air crash mission or something like that. Or do I just want to get the Deluxo? I don't know. Deluxo, you can't shoot people out. You have to fly ahead of them, wait for them, shoot them out of the car. Maybe we'll just take the oppressor. What the heck? It's here. Although, you know what? If I want to do client jobs. Client jobs are always easier with a Deluxo. Some bad people took the goods, and you're going to have to take them back if you don't want to write this off. The location's on your tracker. Okay, I think that might be a problem for the Deluxo. Let me out of the place. We can get to them quick. How many locations are there? 
Well, the good news is it looks like it's a, a single shot deal. Whoa. Missiles! Oof. Obviously, we don't want to blow up the truck. That's going to be a thing. Interesting. Well, they're right next to the vehicle. That's a problem. Problems have solutions. Oh, you know what? Let's go visually interesting. No, not that. Widowmaker. I think we have to get everybody. You just have to get the wheel, right? Oh, wait, this is just their car. Okay, we have to go all the way down in. Here, I would have blown them up if I'd known that. Here, I thought for once I was... Oh, lucky shot. That took all my health down real quick. All right, fine. You know, you want to be that way. If, the, if they're going to be more spread out... Then heck with it. Let's just shoot missiles at them. I don't have to be Mr. Nice Guy. You hold on right there. You just, you just hold that thought. Flying car guy. And you know what? Come on, come on, come on, wherever you are. Well, we care. Oh, here we go. Let's see. Is he near the vehicle? No. Can you hear me? All right, poke your head out. Let's lock you up. Oh, there you are. Actually, he's hiding right there. Let's get a possible. Bank shot. Let's see if that got him. Looks like. Looks like we're clear here. Looks like we're done here. How'd that work out for you guys? Of course, I'd probably be dead once, but I mean, you know, logic. That's always something. But I don't have far to go. Most of the cars chasing me. I'm in a truck. I don't have far to go. Right around the bend. Gadink.
couple different ways you can do this. I could go alternate between client jobs and loading the same, you know, the same backlot, and then get them get them done more quickly. Or I can load both up with nine. I've sent the collection point to your GPS. Make the pickup and bring the goods to the warehouse. Should be straightforward. So in this case, I'm going to try and do a double sell. So we'll go that route. And I don't know. With all, if all goes well, you won't see hardly any of it. And it's exactly what I'd hoped th th not to have to do. The whole cut them off at the pass, jump out of the car, and shoot them. Mission. All right, well, that kind of worked out better than I hoped. Oh, well, the truck's not doing well. Is this the wrong guy? I just shot the wrong guy out. That's not the darn... Uh. Sorry, it's a case of mistaken identity there. See, this is a... But, you know, he would have... He would have cut me off in a different part of the game. So what vehicle are we looking for? That one, okay. This dude. Alright. Out. Alright, you know what? He said Vagos? Oh, Vagos, bitch. Oh, well, there's, you know, that's, that's what I say to that. Laser guns! More laser guns for you. I'm not even dealing with it. Oh, shot me from behind. And you know, they're not even smart enough to take the cargo back. That was fortuitous. Oh yeah. By the way, um, yeah, just just symbolic. Okay, come on. Light up another round. Yeah, yeah, I got him. We have to go a certain distance. Yeah, we'll see. First time I've ever done this. It's the one where it's a trap. I'm just going in full art artillery mode. Taking out one side, take out the other. You don't want to get the. Uh, you don't want to destroy your shipment. You gotta be judicious. Anybody else? Anybody else got an opinion? Doesn't look like you've got an opinion. And it's the one where they're shooting at each other, so if we just let them shoot at each other for a while, there'll be less of them. Oh, lag. Okay, that one, last one landed a little bit close to the truck, but it looks like it's okay. Wow, could this be the elusive straight up nothing goes wrong drive a slow car one? It's almost like the post off me. Why is it a happy thing here? There's, some, there's something interesting psychologically in the mix with these missions. Nice, easy, and so much quicker. You don't have to drive for 20 minutes. Nice. Now we're going right for the sale. So we'll see what we get on the sale. Because 9 is the most, 252,000, that's the most you can solo. Guaranteed a solo vehicle. You can get a solo vehicle through sheer luck. But we're going for the sale. Truck, plane, or boat. 
Truck and boat are the ah, it's the truck. Truck and boat are the optimals. Okay. To make this sale, you're going to need to do some long haul trucking. The buyer wants to minimize risk with multiple drop offs. Hit all the points and we'll get paid. This would be a much bigger problem in a in a populated session. But right now, should be easy peasy. Even if AI intervenes. We'll see. See, it's just like the garbage truck mission, only you have less driving to do, it would seem, in a much better vehicle. That probably won't fit very well in there. Okay, a little bit of squeezing to do here. Right, let's go. Ah, here we are. Seems like narrowness is the theme. Oh, police. There's always some interesting twist. We don't want to get blocked down. You now have to lose comps in a car that you don't want to have to lose comps in. All right. Well, I know what I'm doing. What I always do. Head for the hills. You know what? I don't need to put up with this. I don't need to put up with this. I have to. I have to put up with this. Why can I not bribe authorities? It's a CEO mission. Well, we're down at level one now. Now it's up to level two. But two means I shouldn't have a chopper on me. I still have kind of a chopper on me. Right, here we go. Dirt. To the dirt! To the flip over. Come on, Brigade. You got... Nope. Come on. Let's lead these guys on a merry chase. I know you're not the armored crew, but I'm not expecting that much of you. Maybe I am. But you could just climb over this ridge where they can't see us. Now here's the trick. We have to we have to be successful with this. Because if you if you don't do a delivery here on a special cargo mission, you lose everything. It's an all or nothing. I think I think I think my ploy may have worked. Or not. Are they putting better tires on these cop cars? Nope. Not good enough. Aha! After all that, it still only took nine minutes total. So, I mean, that's still faster than all of the, uh, all the MC stuff. I mean, the buying missions and all that took more, but as far as an individual thing. Oh, here we go. It's finally a multiple thing here. Where the Deluxo will help. Where are we here? Fire. On foot. We're on foot. Gotta make sure none of these guys get too far away. Come on, lock them up. 
You're on foot. I guess that's crate three because he's the third guy that I shot. It's nice seeing my ship in the distance. Woo! And rinse lather repeat here. Just flying back and forth. Do 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 do. Come on, let me in. Another two five two. What are we gonna get? Plane, boat, truck, the boat. I'm okay with the boat. The plane has one mission where you basically need an escort. If you don't have a buddy and a buzzard, your life gets difficult because you're in an unarmed vehicle. You can't shoot through the windows or anything like that. We got a buyer. He wants to make the exchange in international waters, so the goods are loaded onto a boat down at the docks. Get it out to the drop-off, and we got our money. So I hate the plane, because the plane, sometimes you just lose it all. If you, if you don't have someone covering you. With the boat and the truck, you're pretty good. Now, I wonder, can we just land this on the boat? Hover this over the boat, and then... Yay! Boat! How did I die falling in the water? I, I jumped into water! Uh, at least the car is okay. It's still in hover. And I'll leave it there for sheer jocularity. It was worth a shot. I thought I could jump onto the boat. Still. I didn't, that, that wasn't a dive from falling height kind of thing. We should just die here. Well, you don't need to punch out the windows. I just wanted you to drive the boat. Don't be that frustrated. All right, let's see. AP pistol. It's gonna happen. Almost certainly. We figure three, two, one, blah. No. Could this be the, the odd mission where there's, again, no trouble? Just cruising up. There we go. Yeah. You can get the driver. That pretty much neutralizes them. There we go. Once they're all in the water, I don't care. If you can swim back with a bullet hole in you, that's fine. I think I only said two or three of them there. Not vindictive. Sailing, sailing. Oh dear. The Helio chapter is always annoying because he's always a little bit out of your angle. Come on. Come on. Now we're close enough. Let him just shoot at us for a while. He's not going to kill us. There we go. Hooray! 
Okay, well, basically 22.7 million. Which means we're only three... Three bunker sales from 20... Well, three bunker sales from getting back to 24, which is where I was when I started this whole adventure with the MC. So we're, we're up, we've made it all back for the most part. Three bunker sales, we'll handle that. And I think... I think I need to give the machine a break. I think I give my eyes a break. It's break time. On that note, ladies and gentlemen, it is your Black Knight. Have a great night. Surprise! I'm here for your stuff. Just wait now. Where is the crew? There we go. We got one! Alright, fine. You wanna really just be like that? Be like that. By my calculation, should be stoned as a kite. There you go. This is just great. Stick to the route. Stop for nothing. Make the drop. 